ha 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 i hope to find that funny because now there's just like every other faction of things that y'all wasn't interested in and i don't mean one particular demographic i mean people outside of black culture right because mm -hmm. if we gonna go there we're gonna go there right y'all was acting like sneakers wasn't shit it was bullshit. It's yep. a black thing. I don't understand what this is about. Mm -hmm. But then when you started to see the money, right? You started to see, you know, black athletes getting these deals. Yep. Right? The endorsements. The endorsements from these big companies. Now, all of a sudden, how can we... Uh, we wasn't interested, but now that they got it and they making all of this money off of it, I want in. Fronting. Did y'all go get a snack? Because we back. Dang. Boom, that's a bar. So moving right along to our next segment. It's the sneak segment. Words. And we talk to you about, usually we, we what we do is we pick a shoe. Oh, I pick a shoe. And we review. Ooh, pick a shoe. <laughs> that's what I'm rocking today. Mm, lemon squeeze. Lemon squeeze. Lemon squeeze. I'm Shout not going to elaborate on these, but these are the, uh, these are called the Lime Aids. It is a series of, um, Air Max ones. You have the lime aids. You have the lemonades, which are yellow, and you also have the strawberry lemonades, which is a pink, um, in variety uh, shoelaces. I think they all pretty much come with yellow shoelaces and a, and a green shoelaces, and I think it differs, varies with. I think the strawberry ones have pink laces also. Okay. Come like one or two pair of laces, two or three pair of laces. Mm. Uh, lime aids and soles have limes. If you look real close. You got air, air, air written all over them. Air. Um, but yeah, I mean, we talked about um, Air Max ones on one of our early episodes. I think so. The really, first what season. this is is just him stunting, no. showing you I'm, how he coordinated. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Got the, I mean, you can't, I mean, you can't stop at kids. the mushroom belt. Just, you know. Boom. You know what I'm saying? But what we're here this segment to lemon talk squeeze, about. Please, let me squeeze. <laughs> Shouts out to Conway and Griselda, um, and Method Man for a dope verse on that song. What we're talking about this sneak segment is bots. We talking about bots and y'all punk ass. People that really ain't into the sneaker culture just trying to, you know. Listen, usually we're here and we're 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 talking happy things, but bots. Fuck a bot. This Most is how us, we feel about a lot bots. Of people fuck a bot. And now you know what? Hold I, on, before you get into it, for those people okay. who don't know what bots are, right? Because we have people who are into sneakers, but they're not like sneaker heads like that, mm -hmm. right? So, so explain. a sneaker bot is a computer application that buys sneakers um in abundance you're able to buy sneakers in abundance without even being online like you can be on doing whatever you're doing somewhere else and your computer is timed to go on the nike app or wherever where the sneaker is dropping and you're able to use different credit card numbers and basically you can purchase up to who knows how many you know, um, it depends on how deep in depth your business is. It depends um, on what and, kind of bot you and have. How, what kind of bot you have and how much money you invested in yeah. trying to get. So when you go on the sneaker app, Nike sneaker app, and you're trying to purchase a sneaker. It's 9.59 and the and sneaker and, drops at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. and then at 10 a.m. and five seconds, it says sold, sold out. out. And you can't understand why. That's a sneaker bot. Now, recently, Nike has changed to where they make it, they call it, a, it's a raffle. So now there's this time frame of where you can try to get mm -hmm. these sneakers, um, which these bots still work with that because they're able to just get in there faster mm -hmm. to click 
you know, to go in and say, I want the sneaker. Now here's where the, uh, the, the bot is with that is if you have 10 fevers right. and one Simone, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? During a raffle, then it's a real great chance that one it's of the math. 10 fevers is going to get picked it's, it's math. opposed to the one Simone. So you got me sitting mm -hmm. here at work trying to get on the sneaker app and get these Jordans at 10 o'clock and I get into the raffle and then I leave it alone and I come back five minutes later and says, you have not been selected. Right. It's because a bot, a mm -hmm. computer has beat, has beat me. And not only that, the bot has bought all the size nines, yes. all the, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Or at least three size nines and at least three of each size. Mm -hmm. um, and then the reseller is selling you that sneaker for double the price like that same or whatever day. the or what the, the same day the sneaker has gone up 500%. as soon as yeah not even 30 minutes later after mm -hmm. the sneakers has sold out you can get them which is funny right because i remember before i'm and i'm not saying that the bots weren't a thing maybe they were a thing in a different kind of form um but you know before uh social media and stuff like that like the people who had money mm -hmm. like they would stand on the line right they would they would get on the line first yeah and then they would get in the store and then mm -hmm. the store would let in a certain amount of people and they would buy all the size nines right and then some stores got hip and they would be like okay nah, you only buy. one one sneaker per but that wasn't like that at first yeah right because how many people would you see them post pictures and they open their trunk and they got all of these whatevers and that's the, and there's some <laughs> people that and listen i don't I am not hating on any young black entrepreneur that is trying to, you know, get his cake up or whatever. It definitely becomes frustrating for people that are really sneakerheads that are trying to obtain a sneaker. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we're fighting up against, you know. But to what you're saying is, yes, that's true. Because there has, even before the bot thing, and I'm going to get back into, you know, people had hookups at the store. Like there's always been a sneaker guy mm -hmm. and the sneaker guy will have the hookup with the manager, mm -hmm. whatever, to where he's able to go or he's able to be like, yo, put me four or five of these aside because he's definitely going to come in with the thousand or five hundred dollars or whatever it takes to pay, to pay for, for that. Three, four, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For three or four pairs of sneakers, which is kind of different back then because there weren't so many hype sneakers mm -hmm. at the time. You would get one hype sneaker oh, yeah. a month. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If that. You know what I mean? So or one every couple of months. Or one at, yeah. yeah. And you so he's able to buy that and then probably go back and get more once mm -hmm. he makes the money off of that and yeah. flip pretty much the same sneaker again yeah. um the bots have really become heightened during the pandemic uh -huh. because this stopped the um the whole line thing because we were standing out in line well not me i never stood out in the line overnight or whatever and shout out to anybody that has uh -huh. they wanted the sneakers so bad that they you know i've been gracious enough to win raffles before you know what i'm saying like that but never having to stand in line you know the stores would always have you know you give your name or whatever and if your name is picked or whatever then you come back to the store uh -huh. they'll and let the you know you. you know and your sneakers would be waiting on you um but the bots have took in resale to a whole nother level to where it's like it's a business amongst people that are in the sneaker culture just recently there was a kid that was the son of somebody that actually works at night mm. and was using his mom's american express card mm. to what she used to purchase bots and then was purchasing sneakers and reselling them joints you know it's just you thinking about like all the people out there that's really into sneakers and really not into the whole and can't afford like you barely can afford the jordans mm -hmm. or whatever that comes out at the price that they come out as right. And like I said, I'm not knocking anybody's hustle, but it gets a little redundant to where like these companies aren't stopping this to yeah. better accommodate their fans, the real fans, mm -hmm. opposed to just being able to like, hey, we getting our money. We don't care. Right. Like we don't care that Joe Blow was buying yeah. all the Yeezys all and them. then selling it for double the price. We don't care because we're still getting our money. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure to a lot of people that don't know, because I've seen, you know, 
people on social media that I, you know, like sneakers and probably every now and then see a sneaker come out and be like, yo, I can't stand the Nike app. There's something always wrong with it. I go on there and I try to get it and it's always sold out or it's always this or it's that. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much what's beating you is box. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, you know, for those people, like you said, who are not necessarily, you know, sneaker fiends, sneaker heads, but you know, if they do see a sneaker that they like, you know, but they can never get. Yeah. Right? They can never get it. You know, it kind of gets kind of corny, in my opinion, when you see the same type of people always with the with the, with the the latest shoe. Mm -hmm. Right? You don't get to see, you know, I don't know, like the, the chick at your job come in one day and she's... Yo, she got on the so and so. Yo, Yo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Because, because she scored. right, she scored, and then you know it kind of just keeps it. It kind of keeps everybody in this elitist st uh, status category where mm. oh, everybody got the these, the that, the those, and those are the same people that are constantly in the same conversations mm -hmm. about sneakers. They're the same people that are at the sneaker conventions. They're the same mm -hmm. people, you know, and then the conversation stays the same. When you start, then when you start talking about hype beats and you start talking about bots and stuff like that, those same people are always going to have the same type of thought process around bots, right? They're mm -hmm. not going to put themselves in a conversation with someone who it took them forever to get these sneakers because they kept getting beat by bots mm -hmm. so now they're not able to even see how the bots are affecting the rest of the people in the world who you know even kids you know you got kids who yep because right? even so the kid sizes get bought up they get bought up and then they get bought up by the bots the and then they and then, the, and then they up. get flipped for get astronomical flipped. prices yeah you know and now parents are forced, you know, if they have the money, then okay, it, no harm, no foul. But it's funny to me how the people who use the bots that are sneakerheads, right? They remember being kids. But not all of them. The, no, not all of them, right? But I'm just saying, before we get into that portion of it, right? But some of them were. Yeah, some, some of, of them, them were. loved sneakers back then, mm -hmm. and they they saved their money, or their mother said, if this is the sneaker you want for Christmas, then you're not gonna get no other Christmas present because you can't afford it. Yeah. And so now you're in a position to afford every sneaker that you want, so much so that not only do you get every sneaker, but then you make sure that nobody gets any sneakers. Word. Just yeah. because you have disposable income to buy a, a bot that's a thousand dollars. And you can beat everybody. And let me tell you this. Let me just add on. We make the world go round. Whatever we do, we make it pop. Sneakers have always been something that we have uh, appreciated. Yeah. We have always appreciated. I don't want to go and do the knowledge and, and, and say it's because we were slaves and we didn't even have shoes and all this other mm -hmm. kind of stuff. But we have always, once sneakers, kicks, tennis shoes have become a thing of style, we have embraced it and we have made it. And when I say we, I mean black people, we have made it what it is today. And I can remember there was a time and there was a joke, you know, and there were stereotypes of us and how much we pay for sneakers and mm -hmm. how much we adore sneakers. Mm -hmm. And sneakers was always our thing, mm -hmm. ours meaning black people. Mm -hmm. um, now there comes a time where this sneaker culture has branched out amongst other um, people, other than black people, and it has become this conniving type of business that it is uh -huh. with the bots, uh -huh. with the resellers, uh -huh. and, this, and the business in general, period, the reseller business yeah. in general of people, again, it's, it's just like almost a double entendre uh -huh. of we all we already can't afford, like you said, the Let's sneaker, and then we have the people that can afford to buy twenty pairs the of the same sneakers. people <laughs> who are part of a demographic of people who used to make fun of black people mm -hmm. of for being. idolizing, and I use air quotes, idolizing. Mm -hmm. You know, oh y'all killing each other over sneakers. Sneakers aren't that important. I wear the same pro keds for the rest of my life. This and that and the third. Ha ha ha! I hope to find that funny because now 
There's just like every other faction of things that y'all wasn't interested in, and I don't mean one particular demographic. I mean people outside of black culture, right? Because mm -hmm. if we gonna go there, we gonna go there, right? Y'all was acting like sneakers wasn't shit. It was bullshit. It's yep. a black thing. I don't understand what this is about. Mm -hmm. But then when you started to see the money, right? You started to see, you know, black athletes getting these deals. Yep. Right? The endorsements. The endorsements from these big companies. Now, all of a sudden, how can we... Uh, we wasn't interested, but now that they got it, and they making all of this money off of it, I want in. Mm-hmm. Right? And, th and, then there were, and then where there's a lane to let you in with this re then you're in. There, there's, a, there's always going to be a lane for people who had no interest in something mm -hmm. if you have the capital. Yeah. When you have the money... Mm -hmm. And you have the access, you are always going to have a lane. And yeah. that lane is going to take you further and faster yep. than the people who were organically in that lane because they were organically interested in it. Yep. Because that's just, it naturally represents who they are.